Hi, welcome back to my channel, P615 KSSM. So this video, we continue second theme, Newtonian Mechanics. I will discuss on chapter 2, Pressure, 2.1, Pressure and Liquids, part 1. So in this video, I will discuss two learning standards. The first one is communicate about the concept of pressure and liquids. The second one is solve problems involving pressure and liquids. So what is pressure? So you can see this picture. If you press on your hand harder, you can feel pain. If you press much harder, it's more painful. So actually, the action of pressing on your hand, meaning you are applying force per unit area. Applying force per unit area shows a measure of how much force is acting on a certain area. That's called pressure. You are applying pressure. So what is pressure? So we can define as force per unit area. The SI unit based on the formula is Newton divided by meter squared. So it will produce Newton meter to the power negative 2. So in this topic, we will discuss on pressure in liquids. To understand the concept of pressure in liquids, you can observe this video. So this is a water dam where they store a large amount of water. When water is released from the dam, you can see it rush out at a very high speed. What caused the water to rush out at very high speed as for this example? Looks like something is forcing the water to rush out at high speed. So the movement of water that rush out at greater speed actually is caused by pressure. There is force act per unit area that causes pressure to act on the water and causes it to rush out at higher speed. So this one shows that there is pressure in liquid. Pressure can be transmitted in liquid. So what is pressure in liquids? Pressure in liquids is due to the weight of the liquid acting on the surface of any objects in the liquid. For example here, the pressure at the base of a liquid column is caused by weight of liquid column. Or for example, water in a beaker. So the pressure at the base of the beaker is caused by the weight of water that act on the base of the beaker. And now we want to, to derive formula for pressure in liquids. Let's assume there is a column of water. Looks like the shape we can assume like a cuboid shape. The height of the, the water column is H and the area, the area is A here. So for this the liquid column, because of the shape is like this, so we can say the volume of the liquid column is equals to the base area multiply height. The base area is A, height is H. Because of for the water column, we measure the height from the surface of water here. The H also is known as the depth of water to base of the water column okay so the volume equals to base area multiply height the mass of the water column equals to volume multiply density this is the formula of density yeah? I hope you still remember and the weight of the water column equals to mass multiply gravitational acceleration or equals to mg. Okay, then pressure act at the base of the water column A is equals to weight of water column divided by area of the base of water column. 
Now let's look at how can we get the formula for pressure. As we discussed earlier, pressure at the base of the water column is caused by weight of water column that act on base A. So volume of liquid column B based on this formula we get A times H. Mass of liquid column M equals to density of liquid if this one is water so meaning density of water multiply volume okay volume time density then weights of liquid column w equals to mg means mass multiply g so we have v rho g this is the mass huh? then we substitute in the formula of mg thus we get v rho g Pressure at the base of liquid column is caused by weight of column divided by area. Just now we have derived weight of liquid column W equals to V rho G. Thus V rho G divided by A. And just now we have derived V equals to AH. So V rho G divided by A equals to a h rho g divided by a so you can see the a can be cancelled so at the end we get what pressure equals to h rho g so this is the pressure of liquid column caused by weights of liquid column that act at the base a so generally we can say pressure of liquid equals to p equals h rho g where h is depth rho a density of liquid g is gravitational acceleration okay based on the formula we can discuss about factors that affect liquid pressure from the formula of p equals h rho g we can see there are three relationships based on the formula the first one if we take p and h as a relationship you can see from this picture when we release water from different three points at different depth you can see the lowest here the lowest point meaning the higher depth the highest depth it spurt out at greater distance meaning pressure is higher so we can say the deeper the water the higher the pressure so in this case we can say the relationship is the pressure is liquid directly proportional to the depth of liquid the pressure in a liquid increases with depth if we plot a graph of P against H we get a straight line passes through the origin so this one shows that pressure is directly proportional to H provided that density and G are constant. Okay, This is the first relationship. The second one relate density to pressure. For example, we use a different density of liquid, water, oil. The pressure in a liquid is directly proportional to the density of liquid. As you can see from this picture, density of water is higher than density of oil. If we make it H and G are constant, meaning same depth of point where the water is spurting out. So you can see the distance of spurting out for water is longer compared to oil. So this one shows that the denser the liquid, the bigger the pressure. If we plot a graph of P against density, we get a straight line pass through the origin. So for this one, we can try for uh, many uh, type of liquid to, to uh, see the relationship uh, clearly uh, between density and pressure. So in this case, pressure is directly proportional to density provided that H and G are constant. The third relationship is 
relate gravitational field strength or gravitational acceleration and pressure in liquid. The pressure in liquid is directly proportional to gravitational field strength G. As we know that if we carried out the activity on the moon or on the earth, we know that gravitational acceleration on the moon is smaller than gravitational acceleration on the earth. Or G of moon actually equals to G of earth divided by 6. So we can see this picture. The pressure for the same amount of water in the beaker on the moon is 10 pascal. On earth is 60 pascal. Meaning on earth is 10 times bigger compared to on the moon. So this one shows that P directly proportional to gravitational acceleration. Provided that H and density are constant. So actually the factors that affect liquid and pressure, we can say the first one is depth of liquid, the second one is density of liquid, the third one is gravitational acceleration. Okay, let's solve some of the problem involving uh, pressure in liquid by using the formula P equals to H rho G. Look at the first one. If the density of water is 1000 kilo, kilogram meter to the power negative 3, what is the pressure due to the water at the bottom of the swimming pool 2 meter deep? You can list out all the information from the question given. So from here we can see the depth of water is 2 meter. Density of water is 1000. G equals to 9.81 meter second to the power negative 2. So using the formula P equals to H rho G, so we get H must be in meter. Density in the unit kilogram meter negative 3 and G 9.81 meter second to the power negative 2. So we get the answer is 1.96 times 10 to the power 4 Pascal. So all must use SI unit. The second question, solve problem involving pressure and liquid. In the diagram on the right, how does the pressure at A compare with pressure at B? A and B. How does pressure at B compare with pressure at D? How does pressure at A compare with pressure at C? Let's look at the first one. Compare between A and B. So you can see the depth of A is 1 meter. The depth of B, 2 meter. Remember, pressure is directly proportional to depth. So meaning pressure at A is smaller than pressure at B. Okay, B is higher because deeper. How about B and D? B and D is at same depth. As we know that from here, pressure directly proportional to depth, thus pressure at B is equal to pressure at D. They are same liquid. Eh? Point B and D experience same liquid. A and C, this one also same depth, 1 meter. So pressure at A is equal to pressure at C. So from here, we can say pressure directly proportional to depth H. Same liquid, same level will produce same pressure. Okay. The third example, the figure shows a bottle filled with 40 cm high of liquid A and 70 cm high of liquid B. The densities of A and B are 1000 and 2500 respectively. What is pressure of liquid A at point P? Meaning the pressure is caused by liquid A. So remember, pressure in liquid is caused by weights of liquid above the point. 
So, what is pressure liquid A at point B? Using the formula P equals to H rho G, point P is caused by liquid A. So, you look at here, the depth of liquid A is 40 cm, convert to meter, multiply density of liquid A, because this one is liquid A, 1000, multiply G, 9.81, thus we get 3924 Pascal. Okay, pressure of liquid A and B at point Q. Now we want to find the pressure at point Q. So at point Q, you can see above point Q, there are liquid A and liquid B. So the pressure at Q is caused by liquid A and liquid B. So we need to total up the pressure. So P at Q equals to pressure due to liquid A plus pressure due to liquid B different density then we, we need to calculate separately so pressure a equals to just now we have calculated already 3924 pascal and then for b is 70 cm you convert to uh, 0 0.2 meter density of b 2500 g is 9.81 then we can calculate we get 2.11 times 10 to the power 4 pascal so remember this one, eh? we use the formula P equals to H4G, meaning the pressure due to the liquid only. Look at this example. Figure above shows a fish in a lake. Find pressure of water exerted on the fish. So you can see the fish is at depth of 3 minus 1.8. So the depth of the fish is 1.2 meter. So using the formula P equals to H or G, thus we get H 1.2 times 1000 times 9.81. So we get 1.18 times 10 power 4 Pascal. Okay, so this one shows how to calculate pressure due to liquid. Okay, only. Okay, in the next problem solving, we will discuss about total pressure or actual pressure, which we need to total up. Huh? The total pressure atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to liquid. Okay, I will stop here for my first video pressure in liquids part 1. I will continue with part 2 where I will discuss about experiment on factors affecting pressure in liquids. That's all bye.